Following the events of Aliens, an egg hatches aboard the Colonial Marine spaceship Salako, releasing a face hugger. A fire starts and the ship's computer launches an escape pod containing Ellen Ripley, Newt, Hicks, and the damaged android Bishop all for our in cryonic stasis. The pod crash lands on Fiorina Fury 161, a foundry and maximum security correctional facility inhabited by male inmates with a genetic predisposition for antisocial behavior. The inmates recover the crashed pod and its passengers. The facehugger approaches inmate Thomas Murphy's dog, Spike. Ripley is awakened by Clemens, the prison's chief medical officer, who informs her that she is the sole survivor. The prison warden, Harold Andrews, says that her presence may have disruptive effects. Ripley insists that Clemens perform an autopsy on Newt and that her and Hicks's bodies be subsequently burned, fearing that Newt may be carrying an alien embryo. Despite protests from the warden and his assistant, Aaron, the autopsy is conducted and no embryo is found. The funeral proceeds with spiritual leader Dylan delivering a speech. As the deceased are dropped into the furnace, elsewhere in the prison, a quadrupedal alien bursts from Spike. Ripley finds the damaged bishop in the prison's garbage dump before being cornered by four inmates and almost gang-raped. After being saved by Dylan, Ripley returns to the infirmary and reactivates Bishop, who, before asking to be permanently shut down, confirms that a facehugger came with them to Fiorina. Under knowledge of the Wayland yutani Corporation, growing to full size, Ditalian kills Murphy, Bugs, and Reigns. It also returns outcast prisoner Gallic to his previously psychopathic state. Ripley informs Andrews of her previous xenomorph encounters and suggests everyone work together to hunt down and kill it. However, the facility is without weapons their only hope is the rescue ship being sent for Ripley by the Wayland yutani Corporation. Lillian ambushes Ripley and Clemens in the prison infirmary, killing him and cornering her. However, it mysteriously spares her and retreats. Ripley rushes to the cafeteria to warn the others. Andrews orders Aaron to take her back to the infirmary, but the warden himself is dragged into the vents and killed by the monster. Ripley rallies the inmates and proposes they pour flammable toxic waste into the ventilation system and ignite it to flush out the alien. However, its intervention causes a premature explosion and several inmates die. With Aaron's help, Ripley scans herself using the escape pod's medical equipment and sees the embryo of an alien queen growing inside her. She also discovers that Wayland yutani hopes to turn the aliens into biological weapons. The alien will not kill her because of the embryo she carries. So Ripley begs Dylan to do it. He agrees only if she helps the inmates kill the alien first. They form a plan to lure the alien into the foundry's molding facility, trap it, and drown it in molten lead. The bait and chase plan results in the deaths of every remaining prisoner but Dylan and Morse. Dylan sacrifices himself to position the alien towards the mold, as Morse pours the molten lead onto them. Although the alien is covered in molten metal, it escapes the mold. Ripley activates the fire sprinklers, blowing the alien apart from thermal shock. The Wayland yutani team arrives, including commandos and a man who looks identical to Bishop who says he is Bishop's creator. He tries to persuade Ripley to undergo surgery to remove the alien queen embryo, claiming it will be destroyed. Ripley refuses and steps back onto a mobile platform, which Morris positions over the furnace. The Wayland yutani team shoots Morris in the leg to stop him. Aaron strikes the bishop look-alike with a wrench and is shot dead by the commandos. Ignoring pleas to give them the embryo, Ripley throws herself into the furnace holding captive the infant queen as it erupts from her. The facilities are closed down. Morse, the sole survivor, is led away as Ripley's final logbook recording from the Nostromo plays.